Hi, I'm Nick Nanton, and welcome to the new Masters of Real Estate. Today, I've got a great guest for you, Mr. Jay Kinder. Jay, how are you, man? What's up, Nick? How are you doing? Good, man. So I know uh, you're the co-founder of the National Association of Expert Advisors. You guys are out there killing it, doing some very cool things, just raising the entire level of the game of the real estate industry. Tell me a little bit more about that. Well, you know, one of the things that, that we're really trying to do right now is, is increasing the public awareness of not only the real estate agent community, but also the consumer to the really the benefits of home ownership. And over the, you know, the past, you know, you know rocky you know, past few years, that we've had in real estate, the thing that we're seeing is a lot of mistakes are being made in the home buying process, and it's keeping buyers from really optimizing the real opportunity in uh, home ownership. Okay, and so there's, I know there's a, a really unique opportunity right now in, in buying homes, mm -hmm. and, and that NAEA is kind of leading the charge and helping people be equipped to buy them the right way. Can you tell me just a little bit about that opportunity, the unique things you guys are doing right now? Sure. Well, you know, one of the things that I think a lot of buyers don't realize is that 60% of Americans' net worth is coming from real estate. So, you know, and actually the average renter versus a homeowner, a homeowner is actually 36 to 41 times more, a larger net worth than someone who's renting a home. So it's a huge difference when it comes down to really your life plan and what it is that you want to accomplish. Real estate plays a major role in, in your retirement. It plays a major role in your overall wealth and really the quality of life that you live. So it's something that we feel very strongly about. And a lot of times people don't think about the, the compounding effect of rising rent. So when you do a fixed rate mortgage, if it's a 15 year mortgage or a 30 year mortgage, that's going to be a fixed mortgage rate. Your payment is going to stay the same. If you're renting, rents go up and they're actually going up at an average of 3% per year. So your cost of living is going to go up if you're not owning a home. Wow, that's pretty incredible. And so I know uh, through the NAEA, you guys have a, a designation that, you know, it's not what a typical real estate agent knows. It's a, it's a certified home buying advisor. And can yeah. you tell me a little bit about the difference between that person and your typical real estate agent who's maybe, maybe buying, helping their, their buyers buy maybe seven, eight homes a year? Mm -hmm. my, my business partner, Mike Reese, and I, we, we've talked about this a lot. This is something that we're very passionate about is the fact that you know, the average real estate agent is only doing a handful of transactions. There's over a million real estate agents out there selling real estate. And it's very easy to, you know, to just pick one and do business with them. And the, the, the challenge that I would like to give as a home buyer is what about looking at buying, not as from an emotional standpoint, but buying a home is an investment. It's an investment in your future and you should look at it that way. And if you were going to be going to a doctor, you wouldn't go to a doctor that's only done a handful of surgeries. You wouldn't want to, you know, to go to someone who doesn't have a high success rate or really have the skills and the knowledge that it takes to be really to give you the proper advice. So the certified home buying advisor, this designation is, is it's the prestige highest level of, of knowledge and education you can get in the real estate industry and it's really geared on helping you to make a good decision when buying a home to make sure that you're getting the best you know possible you know position for yourself and your family based on what it is that your goals are that's really cool stuff and it sounds to me like with the recent rash of foreclosures yeah. there's some critical mistakes that people are making uh, in the marketplace today when they're buying yeah you know a lot of a lot of folks are just not wanting to buy they're still here you know hearing what's going on in the news and we're literally in, in a century we'll probably never see an opportunity like this again you know real estates are an interesting investment when you really think about it you can't go to the stock market and say I want to buy this stock at 50 cents of or, you know, 50 percent of what it's worth but in real estate when you take the compounded effect of, of going after and finding you can get a deal on real estate. Say you buy a $200,000 home, you can get it for 150 or 175. There's instant equity position that you can get in the investment in real estate. So that's one thing that we like to talk about. And another thing that I find very interesting is, you know, a lot of, of home buyers don't ever look at the potential for doing a 15-year mortgage versus a 30-year mortgage. This is a huge factor. When you look at your long-term goal, if you say you want to be in this house for 10 years, and, and we look at, let's say, let's say maybe not buy that $200,000 house, or even better, we buy a $200,000 house, but we get it for 175 because we're working with someone who knows how to negotiate. We found a great deal. We did our homework and we found the perfect deal. And if you look at that investment over 10 years, the difference between going on a traditional 30-year mortgage is going to be a hundred, over $170,000 difference in net worth in 10 years for you. So then, and then you compound the fact that the, you know your your real estate values go up yearly on average. Let's say at two percent, you know you bought that house at, at 175. A $200,000 house is now worth nearly $250,000. That's a lot of equity and, and when and missing out on the opportunity in today's market with interest rates as low as they are is just it's a, it's an epic you know absolute just mistake and, and it's a failure on 
the real estate industry's part in educating buyers how to make smart decisions in home ownership. It's something that we're very passionate about. So if one of our viewers is watching right now and they're looking to buy a home, what's the best piece of advice you give them? Well, you know, I think if, if I was a buyer right now and I'm watching this video and I'm thinking, man, you know, that makes a lot of sense. I really want to make a good investment when I buy. The first thing that I would do is, is say you have, to, you have to hire a certified home buying advisor. That's the, that's the absolute most important step in the process is hiring the right person that's going to guide you through this process, not just picking the average first person that picks up the phone on a house that you're interested in. So that's the first thing that I would do. And the second thing that I would do is, is you need to probably watch, we put together some materials, NAEA has put together some materials on our website. It's actually on my personal website. You can get there. It's at jkinder.com. And just download the report. There's a free report there on the home buying traps that typically uh, most home buyers make. So you can learn and, and gain some knowledge on the process and some of the things that you can do to maximize your home's equity uh, over the course of time in, in buying a home. So I would definitely do that. And I would definitely hire a certified home buying advisor. And you can do that by checking the website at NAEA and making sure the agent you're working with is actually certified. That's awesome, Jay. I know people who are watching right now are going to be very interested in that. Uh, thanks for joining us, man. It's great yeah, having thank you. Thank you very much, Dave.